what's up everyone so I'll be comparing this fingertip pulse oximeter so this can monitor the uh, changes in blood oxygen saturation so I'll be comparing it with uh, the Huawei watch uh, GT2 Pro which can also uh, test the uh, blood oxygen level or SpO2 so uh, this is supposedly a a uh, uh, medical grade so although this is uh, a Chinese made uh, pulse oximeter so but uh, this is supposedly a medical grade all right so let's see if um, how close um, this uh, Huawei GT2 Pro <coughs> uh, compared to a medical grade pulse oximeter all right, so let me unbox this fingertip pulse oximeter. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so it came with a nice pouch. All right, so yeah, so since this is a pulse oximeter, you can measure SpO2 uh, level or the blood uh, oxygen through this. Okay, and I believe this runs in two uh, double a battery which is not included in the in the um, uh, box okay and this is like the uh, sort of strap right so let me find a triple uh, a battery all right so let's place in a triple a battery here put the cover and uh, put it in okay so i'm measuring it now so let's see what would the what would be the uh, blood oxygen level so spo2 says 99 percent and uh, 94 beats per minute so i think that's the heart rate all right so it's 98 i'm not sure if it's seen on the camera yeah so on this uh, medical grade uh, pulse oximeter it's 98 percent with uh, 95 beats per minute okay so i'm trying to be a steady okay 98 percent so this is a real-time uh, pulse oximeter so this is the advantage of of uh, this uh, medical grade pulse oximeter unlike on the huawei gt2 pro um, this is not real time okay so let me stop from there right, so let me try this time the uh, huawei gt2 pro Where's the test for pulse? Okay. Alright, so this is the SPO2 test. I'll click on measure and I'll try to be as steady as I can. So here it still says 98. 98 uh, percent and uh, yeah so this is the disadvantage of the Huawei GT2 Pro it's not real time unlike um, I think uh, the one from Samsung or um, the Apple watch so here it's not uh, real time you have to press the measure and yeah so it will take about a minute and uh, you need to be as steady as you can. All right, so there was an error. So it says, hold still and make sure the watch is above the wrist bone. Okay, so that's the disadvantage. Okay, I'm trying to uh, be as steady as I can. On the pulse oximeter, it's 98%. Let's see here. On the Huawei GT2 Pro. Ok, 
Okay, so measuring on the pulse oximeter, it's 98%. Not sure if you, you'll be able to see it. On the Huawei GT2 Pro, it's 94%. But it's still not done yet. So 98% on the uh, oximeter. Okay, so it's done. The result is 94%. And here um, on the pulse oximeter, it's 98%. So it's really close. Um, somehow it's really close, uh, but yeah, um, compared to a, a smartwatch like this, you would need. Um, there might uh, you need to expect uh, about uh, f about uh, three to five percent discrepancy since over a medical grade uh, pulse oximeter. Yeah, so I guess for uh, for. I mean, uh, for everyday routinary test, uh, this would be uh, good as well, since uh, it would be handy. Um, it just uh, on your watch, so this this would also be useful. But uh, if you would need a medical uh, grade, you would really need to use this uh, real-time uh, pulse uh, oximeter. So there you go, guys. So that's the comparison of the Huawei uh, GT2 Pro. Uh, SPO2 test uh, uh, level over a medical grade pulse oximeter. Yeah, thank you.